it's recap time and wow was it busy i think i put out like seven videos just in the five days that was a lot of videos for me guys so we're going to go ahead and get into this quick recap from last week and then we're going to go into what i've got on the way take a look we started off with the gins ace battery test now the way i do my tests are i test it at room temperature then i test it hot in this case i should put it in my cr410 techno which what I call it the CR410 because I call it the crawler racer. Techno 410, uh, SCT 410 with a SCX102 transmission, 3800 kV Kratos motor. It actually moves pretty good. Hey, a lot of you guys seem to like that video. And the battery tested out really good. About 20C, and it was under 100 degrees. That's usually a sign of a good battery. I tore down Optimus 3 and decided why not try some of that, uh, you know, that time-lapse stuff and putting it back together. I thought that was pretty neat. I kind of like the time-lapse stuff because I can sit back and actually watch the progress of how I've done it. And like when I did the concrete time-lapse, that was really cool for me to sit back and watch. So that was, what, two weeks ago? Anyway. Got to give Optimus 3 a drive, which thing's awesome. The big news of the week was the Reese 777. Uh, being able to test this thing, being able to be one of the first people to get this servo is, it was an honor to actually be able to get it and have the videos ready to go, you know, for the launch. That was really cool. Uh, thank you, Reese. I really appreciate that. Um, the servo tested out. I mean, I was like... This is the king servo right here, man. This is uh, this is the strongest servo I've ever tested. And previously, that record was held by the Reefs Triple Five. You know, this thing right here. Oh, and in that pull test, it was at 78.2%. So I haven't even tried a 100% pull. I'm afraid it might break, break something, as in like on the tester, because... I don't think this is going to break. This thing right here is the best servo, I do believe. Um, it's quiet. It doesn't hum. The thing just does great. That's why this is going to be the number one servo for a long time on, on the market. I, I really got that feeling. And it's going to be my competition servo. Absolutely my number one choice servo for everything competition. I don't like failures when I'm competing. So this is it. Triple seven. That's right. The SCX-10 III got the sway bar from Reefs. Got that put on the back of it along with a mount that I printed from Spare Time Hobbies. It bolted right in existing holes. The, the uh, sway bar went on like it was made for it, really. I mean, really good. It's still on there, and I like it because it kind of seems to give the vehicle a bit more stability by not letting one side of the back end just drop out in a climb. Now, these have portal axles, so they don't really have a lot of torque twist, but they still have some. And if the vehicle is sitting up like this, it's real easy for that axle to just kind of give a little bit of a twist on it, you know? And when that tire is all the way out, and you got this one all the way in, the vehicle is pitched in a way that usually it's going over. I mean, just that simple, it's usually going over. So, re-sway bar on the back of that thing. Still see it. I had some time to kill, so I put the KLRMs on the 10-3 and took it out back. And you know, these tires done great. I know I've done some tests recently uh, with these tires involved and they are at the bottom of the pack. Well, don't let that fool you. These are not bad tires. Trust me, these are the top of the line tires. And if they weren't at that level, they would not have been in that test. So just because these didn't actually win the uh, tire test that I recently did, maybe it was last month at this point, um, don't let that fool you. Don't let that steer you away from the KLRM. 
It's an extremely good tire. And it does say KLR M for a reason. M is for mud. So, yeah, these things right here will rip in that dirt. As you guys saw, the dirt is sticky and all that. You might need some more wheel speed than what this thing has. But, uh, yeah, they clean out and hook great. So, yeah, these are good tires. Believe me when I tell you, they are. The shiniest video that I did last week were these right here. If we could bring the term bling back, you know, these are the bling, let me tell you. Uh, they added plenty of weight down low. They really helped out the truck, and I think I was able to do it without gouging them up. So I was kind of driving easy, but still trying to get in there and just let the vehicles, the axles work. You know, when you have all that weight on the axle, it can actually pull the axle down just you know gravity and it has the reef sway bar on the back of it and i think that sway bar was much more needed once i got these heavier axles it was still articulating quite a bit in the back so it the sway bar does not just you know cut out all the articulation at least not that one with his bar i believe it's a 2.6 millimeter bar so it actually still articulates. It just gives a little bit of a resistance, a little bit more stability. And with these heavier axles, it really paid. It really did good. Um, these axles right here are not cheap, not cheap at all. But when you want the absolute best, Vitavon, man, I'm telling you, Vitavon, Vitavon, man. These things are awesome. I'm happy with them. Recap is over, so now it's time for some forecap. Is that even a thing? Forecap, forecast. And what I've got, and you know how you just kind of get stuff sometimes? A brand new RTR Capra. I, when I got my Capra, it was a kit, so I never really got to experience a box stock RTR version. So, and I've already had it out, been shooting some video with it, and believe it or not, it's way better than I thought. No kidding. Um, I was able to make a couple climbs that can shut down a vehicle pretty quick. Oh yeah, uh, way better than I thought right out of the box, absolutely. And in faster news, I picked up a uh, Atraxxus Max. That's going to be a fun one. This little truck right here, it got my attention. Um, it had my attention a few months ago, but $549.00. For this, when you could turn right around and get the e Revo 2.0 for the same money. Well, I had an e Revo 2.0. I ended up selling that. Never had one of these. Well, now I do. And there is not a bit of dirt on it. Because I haven't really even done my video with it yet. I haven't done... Well, this is the first video it's been in right here. Nice. Pretty. I got the red so it matched my other X-Max. The real X Max, 17 millimeter wheels, so, or 17 millimeter hexes. I'm actually thinking I might can put some sand paddles on this thing, one of them drag skids, and actually have like a sand drag truck. Maybe? Don't know. I know it's gonna get jumped, so get ready for that. Well, guys, if you're watching this, I hope you're safe. I hope the uh, pandemic hasn't messed with you or bothered any of your family. I wish it had never happened, but you know, I don't control the world. I can barely control my room. And it's a disaster in here. No, I'm not gonna show you. But, uh, oh, finally got me a new recording shirt. These are on my Teesprings, uh, uh, my Teesprings account. There's a link in the description for these you can get this exact shirt front and back. So, hey, they're there. They are available. They got the lighter color ones and all that. If you want, you know, if you don't want the black shirt, 
in the summertime, black just gets some hot, so you may want something brighter. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video, and if you have any questions about anything I mentioned, post up in the comment section below. Check that description, because I'm going to do my best to get links to everything I mentioned in, in this video. Try to get most of the important links in that description, so... If you guys need something, hey, there it is. And I'm an affiliate with Amain, eBay, and Amazon. There are links in there for that too. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos. And you know... A little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.